Hi, I'm Phil Roteman, and welcome to episode 12 of Burnside Neutral 2030. Did you know there are over 5,000 jacarandas used as street trees in the city of Burnside? And nearly a thousand willow myrtles. Did you know there are 10 date palms used as street trees in the city of Burnside? And five native apricots. In fact, there are over 400 trees used as street trees in the city of Burnside. If you want to find a fiddle wood or a flowering gum, or work out what's out the front of your house, the council has a website for you. The Urban Forest Interactive website includes information for over 40,000 trees. You can use it on a computer, a phone, or a tablet to check out the trees across the city of Burnside. Let's hear from Council's Senior Urban Forestry Officer who led our work on this project. We inspect our trees on a regular basis and record information on their health and condition. We have mapped a large proportion of the trees within our streets and major reserves, and now we're sharing information on our trees and their management through the new and updated Urban Forest Interactive website. Let's have a closer look at some of the features. When you visit the website, click on Let's Begin. This takes you to the dashboard where you can decide what you would like to see. Let's check out each map. Under Our Trees, you'll find a map of all our trees. You can zoom in and click on Individual Trees. You will be able to see the species, the age and the size of the tree. You can click the charts on the right of the screen to change what displays on the map. You can sort the map by tree age or tree height. Under tree planting, you'll find a map of where we have planted over the previous 12 months, as well as where we are planning to plant trees in the future. On the left, it tells you how many trees we've planted in the last year. On the map, you can click on the dots to see more information on the planting location. Under maintenance and works, you'll find a map of work we've completed over the last 12 months. On the right, it tells you how many trees we've inspected and other types of works completed across the city. On the map, you can click for information about individual trees. Under species diversity, you can see how many species we have throughout the city. On the left, a chart shows the top 10 species. You can click on the chart to display each species on the map. Below the chart is a longer list, so you can explore all of the species around Burnside. Under our favorite trees, we've listed some of the trees we love and consider amazing specimens. You can see them on the map and we hope you might visit them in person too. Chris and his team have done an amazing job of creating the Urban Forest Interactive website, featuring the trees of the city of Burnside. Trees are important for so many reasons. They cool the city down, they create habitat for wildlife, they look great, they intercept stormwater and they store carbon. Around half the volume of a tree is carbon which is taken from the air as the tree grows. It's important we keep that carbon locked away. So it's important we maintain the urban forest. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Burnside Neutral 2030, learning about the Urban Forest Interactive website. See you again next time.